everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a requested item. I'm going to be doing a wreath with fruit. So I headed on over to the Dollar Tree to try and find some fruit there. Unfortunately, I could not find any. Uh, their aisles were pretty empty. I think they're doing a little transition where they're bringing in some new items. And I saw some fall coming in actually on their shelves. Uh, and I did look there, but I did not find any little fruit or pumpkins or anything like that where I could create something for you. So I went ahead and I headed over to the Dollar Tree, which is right down next door to my Dollar Tree. And I decided to look in there for some fruit. So let me show you what I found uh, at Hobby Lobby, what are the items that I already had and that I'm going to be using, and some of them I'm going to be reusing. Okay, the first thing that I did was go into the floral department at Hobby Lobby where they have all the fruit and wreaths and stuff like that. I decided that I'm not gonna get a wreath because I already have one and I'm just gonna repurpose it. But I did buy a bag of fruit. This bag of fruit was regular $11.99. So it's 12 bucks and it has one, two, three, there's six fruit in there, two lemons, two different apples and a pear and an orange in the bag. And I thought that was a pretty good deal for 12 bucks. And of course with my 40% off, that was an even better deal. I don't have the receipt in front of me, so I don't know, I don't know how much that is, but if uh, maybe we can figure this out. Okay, so on top of that, I also wanted to get some grapes and I found this little cluster of grapes. This was $3 and I thought that's a pretty good deal. Uh, it would have been better if it would have been less, of course, if I'd have found stuff like this at the Dollar Tree, but I did not. But maybe at Walmart or some other store like that, you can find something at a lower price. What I also bought today, brand new, was this little sign. And I got this from their spring, uh, this is from their spring shop collection. And it is a $14.99 uh, little plaque, little hanging plaque that says locally grown but it is 66% off all their spring right now. So I got it for $5 and I think 40 cents, something like that. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. They had actually two of them and the other ones that locally grown, but it had a bushel of apples. And because I'm using assorted fruit, I decided I'd just go ahead and go with this one, even though I like the look of the other little sign more. But anyway, take advantage of these discounts, get in there right now, start looking for stuff. 66% off is a good deal because it's all going and don't wait for 80% or 90 because there's there'll be nothing left. Okay, also <laughs> a little extra on shopping. Okay, a little um, the other item that I got from Hobby Lobby today was this a roll of a ribbon. It's got some blues and some greens and I really wanted to incorporate some blues in there uh, into my um, into my wreath. Uh, this was $7.99. I will let you know that this week they do have 50% off on rolls of trims and ribbons. So you want to take advantage of that. So I got this for four bucks and I thought that was a very good deal because this has 30 feet. So that's 10 yards of a ribbon in that. And it is a wire edge ribbon, I believe. If it's not, that's fine. I love it. I love the little kind of uh, plaid look on it. And the reason that I wanted blue in there is because if you recall, if you saw my video, from Friday, because I posted my craft video on Friday, you saw that I used a little bird on the birdhouse wreath that I created, and I had a package of three, so I'm gonna use one of these little birds in this wreath as well, and I'm gonna be placing this in my kitchen. So I wanted some blue in there. Um, my walls are yellow, so I actually like to put some blue. Uh, that's not blue, but it looks blue back there. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna be using one of these little birds in my wreath. Okay, now let's talk about the items that I already had. I had already purchased some floral, so I did not purchase any flowers at Hobby Lobby today. I already had some that I purchased at a different store, and I had uh, also featured uh, by shopping at that store called At Home. But of course, you can get your flowers from the Dollar Tree. They do have plenty of there to choose from. They do have fall now, so if you want to get some fall, fallish looking flowers to go with your fruit, that'll be fine. I wanted a summery fall kind of a feel, so I went ahead and I went with these sunflowers that I already had. This bush cost me $2.99, it's $3 for this. So I thought this was a really great deal because a lot of times I don't use the whole bush of flowers and I end up using it for two um, arrangements, which is what I'm gonna do. In this particular case, I'm gonna use half of these four, or at least more or less half of these for my wreath and the other half is gonna be for my little arrangement that I wanna do for next week. That's also going to have some fruit. Okay, also from this store at home, uh, it's also $2.99. 
are these little orange flowers and I think I showed them before and I had not used them but I'm going to use them now and I love them because I like the way they drape and I think they'll look really nice hanging off of the wreath and even a little bit hanging off of my little floral my little fruit arrangement that I plan on making okay also from at home these which are also three bucks these little clusters of I don't know what they are but I, they're blue and I thought they were really pretty so I'm going to go ahead and use these in my in my uh, wreath I do also have something that I had already purchased and this is from the Dollar Tree and the label just says berries and it's these little clusters of little berry things are they have that that green that is on this ribbon now I just grabbed this ribbon because I thought it was pretty but luckily I happen to have some blue and some green to go with this and as well as the bird that has blue in it okay now for the items that were um, Oh, some of it had already been used and these are leftovers. I have some greenery. Last week I used this uh, greenery on my birdhouse wreath. It's like a grape leaf kind of a vine and I'm going to go ahead and use this on this wreath for this week. I'm not going to worry if I have any leftover for my little arrangement but I do have some small little bits here and if I do that'll be great. If not, I'm not going to worry about the greenery. Okay, because I do have other leftover pieces. Also leftover from another project was this type of a fern looking uh, leaf and I have a bunch of these little pieces left over. So again, if you buy bushes and you have leftover, this is where you're going to be using a lot of it. Now the item that I'm going to be repurposing, because I said I did not purchase a wreath because I already had one, and this I already had it in my kitchen. I already had this wreath in my kitchen. <laughs> Let me show you. Here we go. See this? Uh, it has a little blackboard. Uh, I had this hanging on my kitchen for the longest time. Then I had a little kitten that decided to jump from my dining room table onto the wall to get onto the wreath and he knocked it down and of course it broke. So my little uh, chalkboard is broken. I had just tossed it over into the garage and it just got dusty and nasty. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the chalkboard and all the flowers that are on there. See this is broken. I could probably glue this back together and still use it. But uh, these flowers have lost their center. I don't know where it went, so they're obviously not any good. I do have one flower that's good and a couple of things here. And uh, it has this, uh, let me just remove this. It has a burlap bow, which I think is really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this ribbon and just roll it up and use it in the fall for another project. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna remove everything from this wreath and I'm gonna repurpose the actual grapevine wreath for this particular project. So let's get to crafting. All right, everyone. So I need to mention the tools that we're gonna to be using. I'm gonna be using wire cutters, scissors. I'm gonna be using my glue gun, and of course some glue sticks for that. I'm also going to be using floral wire, and I may be using a little uh, pliers here that I like to use to manipulate the wire, wrap it up around nice and tight. All right, so the first thing I also do before I start creating my wreath is I take all my supplies, like this wreath, for example, I've removed everything off of it because I am recycling it and I just cleaned it off a little bit. It's not perfectly clean, but it is uh, clean enough for me to go ahead and get this project started for you. I've gone ahead and removed all the labels from everything, opened up all the packages. And then also on my bushes, I've gone ahead and I've cut up all my stems from each bush so that they're now separated and then I can now use just what I need and I don't have to stop and be cutting in the middle of everything. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attach this on here first. I'm, I'm still grabbing some bits of hot glue that fell on it here and there. So what I'm going to decide is that wherever this hot glue is, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and put all my fruit and all my um, flowers and I kind of want everything on the bottom and I want the little bird resting on top of that so there's kind of like an area here uh, where it's kind of like a nesting area for my little bird so the fruit and the flowers are going to be my nest but I want to attach this sign to my wreath and I've got this little um, little cord here on here so I'm just going to take a little piece of floral wire and this wire is all tangled up on me I really don't like it but I'm going to use it <laughs> because I, I, I purchased it and now I need to use it up. Okay, I like one that I get from Michael's. It comes like in a long little paddle and I like the way that it's rolled up on there because it doesn't uh, untangle and, uh, or it doesn't tangle, I shouldn't say untangle. It doesn't tangle up and uh, it's so easy. It's nicer to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up right about right here. 
with my wire. Now, if you don't want the wire to show, you could tie it up from the back. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck this underneath because I'm not going to have um, anything up on the top here to cover that. If I was going to put some flowers up on the top, I would, but I don't have a ton of, of fruit and I don't have a ton of flowers to completely fill this wreath, which would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, now what I'm going to do, because I want this sign to stay still, I don't want it flopping around, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right where it meets up right here and just also drizzle some right over the edge and then on the other part where it attack I'm, gonna, I'm looking for an area where it's resting flat on a, a branch or something on this grapevine and that's where I'm attaching it so it's not necessarily going to get attached in the same kind of area so this was resting on this little little branch here so right underneath it is where I put glue and then place it down and then this little corner was touching right here it's also touching right under here so I'm going to put some glue there okay, let's get on to continue to decorate this now as I've said before I like to make my bow first before I put it on any uh, arrangement because I want to see where it's going to go so that I don't place items in the spot of my bow and then I end up covering them with my bow so I'm going to make my bow for my this particular arrangement first I'm going to make some little short tails they're going to be about maybe 10 or 12 inches long they're not going to be that long so I'm going to start off with that and because I have a lot of ribbon I'm going to probably use about two and a half to three yards of ribbon and like I said this has 10 yards so there's plenty of it to work with so I'm going to go ahead and just pinch it right here and I do have a uh, uh, some videos on uh, bow making on making handmade bows so you might want to look for those in my channel and uh, view those so that you can learn how to make the handmade bows it's really easy it's nothing too uh, difficult to do it's just holding it in your hand okay so now I'm just gonna twist it make another loop because this ribbon is the same on both sides I don't have to worry about it but I still twist it around and then I'm gonna bring these two loops up they're the same length so perfect lay them flat don't worry about poofing them up, just keep them flat. And then you're gonna twist, you can pinch twist, and make another loop, and that way you use that loop as your guide to creating the one that's gonna go under it. Again, pinch, twist, and then you're gonna make another loop the same size as that other one. So now all your loops are gonna be pretty much the same size. Okay, and then just make as many loops as you want. In this case, I'm going to be making four loops on each side, which is going to give me an eight looped bow, which is about three yards of a ribbon. Okay, so the other thing that I did on this is I went ahead and I cut my little ends and like little dovetails. So what you do is you fold it in half and then from the folded edge upward to the, uh, the edges of the ribbon, just cut like a little V and that creates the dove tail look or I like to call it a little snake tongue so whatever you want to call it okay so in this case I am going to put my bow off to the side I like my bows you know either off to the sides maybe up on the top I don't always center them so I'm going to go ahead and just do as I normally do but if you want to put it in the middle go right ahead I'm going to tie it up to this nice piece of grapevine that's right here and I like this right. I like it right here because it'll cover this little corner where I put some glue on top. So just put it right there, and then just twist it as much as you can, and cut off any excess wire. And then, of course, I use my my needle nose pliers to twist the rest of it, and then you could kind of curl it into itself and then poke it into the grapevine. Oh, here's a piece of wire from something old before okay now I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna poof it a little bit now you can poof up your bow you don't spend too much time doing that right now wait till you have it hanging on your wall and then you can make it nice and pretty for now just poof it up a little bit just so you can get the idea of what size it is and where things can go because what's gonna happen is you can end up smooshing it a lot and you're just gonna be poofing it and smooshing it and poofing it and it just it's just frustrating so just poof it up once just to get the idea of the size of your bow like I've done right there there you go okay so now I'm just gonna put the fruit how am I gonna get this fruit on there yes I could just hot glue it on there it would be no big deal uh, you could take floral picks and then poke them into the uh, fruit uh, I would 
Um, I'm gonna do this right now just so you can see. I take a tip of my hot glue gun. Because it's hot, it burns right into the fruit, creating a little hole in there, as you can see right there. It melts into it, is what, I, it, what it does. Uh, because it is made of styrofoam, these fruit. And then you could just poke a little hole, and you could take your, um, your floral stems, your little wooden picks, stick one in there, and then now you have something that you can poke into your wreath. I'm not gonna be doing that right now because I make the mistake of not buying any floral picks. But I'm gonna show you uh, a little example. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece of one of these uh, stems of sunflower because uh, they're gonna be too long anyway. So now that I've made that little hole, you pour some glue in there with your glue gun. Get that stick in there, just like that. And just let that dry. So prepare all your fruit like that. So now you have a little stick where you can now insert it into your wreath. You're gonna to wanna to put some glue. And of course, you can also bend this little, uh, little stem because it's not a wooden stick like the wooden picks are, but these are wire. And then you can also um, now uh, slide it in at whatever angle you want. So that's gonna stay in there like that, but I'm gonna put some glue because I don't want it to fall out like it just did. Okay, now to pull it out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it was getting stuck with the glue. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with all my fruit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some stems from these flowers, trim them off because I'm going to have to do that anyway, and use that for my fruit. And I'm cutting about four or five inch pieces. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, fruit here. I've already got one done, so I need five more little sticks. There we go. Now the grapes, I can just um, get some wire and wire them in. It has like a little loop right here, so I can just put some wire through that and then just tie them on, on here so I don't have to um, wire those. Okay, let's get to start putting all of this on our wreath. Okay, I'm gonna distribute these colors. I don't want the green apple and the green pear to be together, and I don't want the two apples to be together. I'm gonna to start off with a lemon, and I kinda of want him a little bit high up here, kind of on the side. So let's go ahead and put some, let me move these items out of the way. Bring my high glue gun a little closer. I think I'm gonna to have to trim this a little bit. Okay, because I don't want it to go through my wreath. I just want it, and I want to put glue all over the stick so it grabs on to whatever parts of the grapevine I can possibly get it to stick on to. And now I've just bent it a little bit. Okay, now I can maneuver my ribbon once again to make sure that it's not covering my lemon. There we go. Now I'm gonna be jumping around from fruit to flowers. So now that I've got my flowers all nice and cut, I'm gonna bend them up like that a little bit so that I can put glue. And I can also trim that a little bit more. I don't need to have such a long stick on them. I'm gonna put one kind of above the lemon. I don't want it to cover it now, so don't put it right up against it. Don't, don't push it right up against it because it's two similar colors. And in between here, I can put in another color. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spread my, my sunflowers along this way so that I can start forming my little, what I'm gonna be calling my nest of fruit for my little bird. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take one and I'm going to decide, and again, I'm folding it upward a little bit so that it's facing forward on the stem. Putting lots of glue on the stem and I want it to come up about the same height as the other, as the other sunflower, as this one. It doesn't have to be equal, okay? Or even or level or whatever, but about. Okay, and this is where the ribbon keeps getting smushed. Okay, so now I want a flower to go out. So I'm gonna form a triangle right here which is what I do in a lot of my arrangements. I'm gonna be talking about triangles. With plenty of glue on it. 
I want to do this so that you can see what I'm doing as if you were creating this arrangement. So let me put it like this. So a little bit lower than this other one, but kind of outward. I'm going to put this one and then I'm going to put another one to come in this way. And then I'm going to put some here in the middle. But I am going to go ahead and go a little bit lower on this, like so. So I have a triangle right here, okay? Now over here, I don't have to worry about it because I've sort of formed a triangle with my, my lemon, my flower, and my, and my bow. So basically, it's like placing things in threes, if you will. Now, that's not necessarily a rule, but that's kind of what I kind of follow. So now, in between these beautiful yellow flowers, I can go ahead and put this red apple. I think that red apple will look really pretty right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Cut this a little bit shorter. Maybe go in downward so that I, I stick it like this. So I just bent the, um, the stem on it, downward like that, so I can insert it like that and that stays right there and you kind of get the idea now how it's looking so I'm going to balance off this red over here with the red of the pear right about right here it doesn't have to be at an even uh, you know level I'm going to put it right about here just kind of sort of poofing up my bow I want it about right here okay let me go ahead and trim off wire and then I'm going to bend it just a tad because I want it to insert like that so I'm bending it like see how it was coming out straight to the back I bent it that way a little bit that way I can now slide this in like so now if you're not feeling very secure about the sticks holding on to your fruit, uh, then you can put a little bit of glue on another part of the uh, wreath. All right, I'm just gonna put some glue on the stem of my green apple. And slide it around right about here. And that's gonna need a little bit of glue, so I'm gonna put a dot of glue right on that piece of right here and then just glue it down okay i wanted to balance it off with this other lemon over here somewhere let's see i'm going to go ahead and fill it up with some flowers i think i want my grapes to hang right off the center or do i want them over here i think i want them over here because i have a tail of my bow hanging here and then i'm just going to have the grapes hanging off of there or should I have them across? I think I'm gonna have them laying across like this rather than hanging off, okay? So now let's put some wire on this little loop of the grapes and then I'm gonna use another piece of wire on another part of the grapes to tie them down so that they stay laying across the Grapevine. Okay, so I'm going to put through this loop right here. Do you see that? There's a little loop right here. Okay, I'm going to put wire through that loop. A nice long piece because I don't know how how much I need for that to go in. I don't want to I don't want to push it too far in because I don't want to hide it. So let me go ahead and push the wire through the wreath, and it comes out the back one of the ends and then I'm gonna use the other end of the wire, get this leaf out of the way, put it through another little section and then tie it up at the back. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn this over around just carefully and twist this and then I'm gonna trim this wire. Get my little pliers here. Roll those little ends in there so that I make sure that those raw edges aren't gonna be scratching up my wall or door or wherever I decide to hang this. 
Okay, so now, like I said, I want these grapes. I'm gonna maneuver these little leaves on it. There we go. I want these grapes to rest across this area. So now I'm gonna take another piece of uh, wire and I'm gonna take it on the bottom here, the bottom little stem where I grab about three grapes and then I'm just gonna wrap it around that. And now I'm gonna take those ends and wrap it around a piece of the grapevine. Come on, honey, get there, there we go. And now I can twist it and do the same thing. Trim it if you have to, or just grab the ends and twirl them into each other and twist them and then just get them in there. Okay, so now I've got the grapes laying across. Like I said, you could have them hanging off or hanging off the center, wherever you want, or as I put them, kind of laying across here. So now I'm gonna put my orange right about here. Let's see. Maybe if I open up my, yeah, I think I'm gonna open up my little bow tails and then put my apple, my my, my orange right underneath the bow. With lots of glue. Put it right there. I'm gonna put some glue also, so that you make sure that the orange is sticking down. Excuse me. Sometimes you gotta use your lips or your chin to push that little glue stick into the glue gun. Okay, now I'm gonna put the lemon right here where I was gonna put the orange. I'm gonna trim this stem because it's too long. Let's see, I want it. This one I put it with this little bit facing up, so now I'm gonna put it facing down. There we go. Or kind of sideways. Look at that. Okay, so now we want to balance off right here because we have some fruit. This orange right here. I'm going to balance off this area here with some flowers. Let me get one of these beautiful. This one's kind of too greenery. I don't need that. Okay. I'm going to put another flower there. And of course, I've got the other flowers still that I'm going to fill in here and there, and of course, the greenery. So I just want that one there, and I want one over here. Now, my arrangement that I want to make for my centerpiece, I don't want to make it too big. So I did have three flowers left over, which I think is going to be just fine, which is perfect because I like things in odd numbers. Let me see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six here. That's not odd. But that's okay because I've got all these other things going, so um, that's okay. That'll balance off some way in my, in my, in my eye, <laughs> in my visual. I need to put more glue on this orange because, oh my goodness, it doesn't want to stay where I want it to be. Okay, so I had a hard time getting this orange to really stay in position. I was holding it for quite a while, letting it dry, and it just kept coming off. So what I ended up doing is uh, the same uh, orange. I'm just going to use this flower as an example. And I did use the stem and I cut off another little piece of it from here. I needed a little, I needed a little stem piece, another little stick. So I had this orange and, it, and I had the little, the little pig sticking into my wreath, but it kept flopping over. So what I did is I put another little stem on another part of the orange so that I could stick it into the wreath and make it stay. I hope you understood that instruction. I really should have just showing you but I was just kind of a little flustered and a little frustrated with it but um, that's what I had to do so this orange actually has one pick down here where I stuck it into it and then it's got another pick over here right in here and then I stuck it to make it come this way and stay in there so now that the pick is now what's sticking inside of the wreath and then I just kind of maneuvered the ribbon around it now when I make a floral arrangement, I normally place my focal flowers. Now my focal flowers would be these sunflowers. They're the biggest flower. They're basically the theme uh, that's in, in my arrangement. Now my fruit is really my focal point because that is the, the idea we wanted to make a wreath with some fruit. 
So when I'm making an arrangement, for example, I have my focal flower and then I have what I call my filler flowers. So uh, I showed you all that. These little, these blue ones, the orange ones, and these little green berries. So normally what I do is I put all of this into my arrangement and then I put greenery into my arrangement. But because I have so much already in here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my greenery first and then I'm going to add uh, whatever I may need of these other flowers and fillers, like these little berries, uh, into my arrangement. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my big leaf um, greenery, which was this grapevine, and I'm gonna take these two long ones here. I'm probably not gonna use these. I'm gonna put those to the side, and I'll probably use those in my, my little centerpiece arrangement. Okay, I'm gonna put that over to the side here. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna remove these two bottom leaves that I can glue in separately in some of the little spots there. Okay, so I want this one to roll, not roll, but <laughs> flow down here at the bottom. And because I have this tails hanging off over here, I want this to kind of hang off over here. So I've got this little, little ends here that kind of flow and hang. I'm gonna bend it downward a little bit and I've got a really big stem here. So now I can go ahead and trim that as well. I'm gonna put lots of glue on the part of the stem that I'm going to insert into the grapevine. And then I'll add some glue in other little spots or I may just use wire to make sure it stays in place. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around just so I can look at it, kind of sideways here for you. I want this to be up there, so this little stem is gonna go right in here, or the big fat stem goes right in there. And I want this over here. So now for this to stay right here, I'm gonna get a little piece of wire and wrap it around here and then grab on to the wreath right here. So where's my wire? There it is. It's all over the place. Okay. I don't need that big of a piece. Just a little piece. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the stem just like I did on the grape. Twist it a few times just to make sure it's holding on. And then grab a piece of the grapevine and tie it on there. Twist it. I'm going to use my pliers so I don't poke my fingers and roll that little edges and poke them into the wreath. Now I can, because this is wired or as a wire stem, I can maneuver the leaves. And I'm just going to tuck this one kind of like behind this sunflower. And then the others can just kind of hang there on the bottom like so. See where that is right there? Okay, so now I've got a little bit of a balance here with my greenery. I want this to stick out a little bit right there. There we go. I'm gonna put a leaf. These are the leaves that I cut off the bottom. I'm gonna put some under here also to help push up that little edge, that little end of the, um, that longer piece so we can see those pretty little leaves there. Put it right underneath to push that up. And between these sunflowers, I'll put another one of these leaves. Okay, push it right in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this piece and this one I'm gonna cut it up. And I'm gonna cut it close to this other leaf stem. This is on the top. Here I've got another piece. And then I'm gonna cut, I'm probably gonna just cut these two off and glue them and then just cut this short. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on this side and let me see, do I want more big leaves or just some, some small? I think I'm gonna go with the smaller leaves here in this little viney bit. Little. So I'm just gonna maneuver, fold it a little bit. I'm gonna put some glue in that on that stem. I wonder if my glue gun is unplugged. No, it's not. Oh, but I pushed the off. <laughs> no wonder. Okay, now it's gonna start working. Okay, so now let me poke it 
right in. Let me poke it right in here so that I can have some leaves all clustered up right here. And again, I can maneuver the leaves, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna get that in there first, nice and deep. There we go. That looks pretty. And then I can take all these other leaves, and actually I'm gonna cut them separately and place them in different spots here and there on my arrangement. And I need some up here. Coming out from behind this beautiful sunflower. And some coming out from the other sunflower over here. And then off the uh, sides here. Now you could just stop right here and not add any more flowers because you know this arrangement is starting to look really nice and full. We could stop here. I'm just gonna put another one over here to also help lift that up. Let me take a look at it. And I feel like I need one right under here where the orange is. Kind of cradle that orange right there. All right, this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna put one right here under the orange. Did you look at that? Okay, all right, so we could stop right here. This is a perfectly nice looking wreath, but I am gonna add some of these little blue flowers and um, I'm probably gonna use maybe three or so. I'm gonna put one popping up here and just kind of tuck that there. I'm gonna put one on the other side here. Let me get one that's not so big and I'm removing some of the leaves as well. I'm gonna tuck one right in here because I think the blue next to that red looks, is gonna be really pretty. The red of the apple. You could save these little bits that you're cutting uh, from your stems because you could use them to either make a stem that's not long enough longer or you could use it like for the fruit like I was doing instead of having to go buy yourself a package of wooden picks. Okay, I've got this other piece that I had cut at first because I needed a piece of stem from it for that orange, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Always remembering to bend the flower up before you, because I don't want the sticks going straight and I kind of want the sticks going, you know, at an angle so they're grabbing onto grapevine rather than just sticking straight through it and then not gluing onto anything or just maybe just gluing onto one little bit and then, and then falling out. I'm just maneuvering these leaves so I have the smaller leaves um, on top. Okay, let me look at it because maybe I need two more of the blue feel like I need two more. I'm going to get this, this one here, cut off the stem, bend it. I'm going to put this down here on the bottom just to balance out um, some of the stuff that's happening down on this side. And one more small one, a small cluster. On this other side. Now I tend to tuck in and then, okay, so you can see all the blue flowers that I added. And then one up here, right in there. So that's what it looks like. Okay, let's see what we have. Now I've got, from this bush, I have like, what, four pieces left over. This will be nice for my arrangement, so I'm gonna put that over here with the sunflowers that were left over. Uh, let me put these berries to the side here. I know I want to use them. I think I'm gonna put one way up here and then one on the other side. Let's trim that, bend it a little bit. Poke it in there. 
uh, oops, these came off. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on them and then put them back in the little, the little stem that they came off of. One more for the other side. And then I'll save these for my centerpiece. Just a little bit of stem. We don't need so much. Just to kind of tuck in back here behind the sunflower and over that leaf. Like that. See that? And then one on this side. Okay. And then we have our beautiful orange uh, little stems and I want those kind of hanging off. So I'm going to use about three of these and then I'm going to save the rest for something else. Okay, I'm going to push up the greenery that it has. I don't know if I need that because it's so much greenery. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and remove the greenery off of them. Okay, these I'm going to get them and then I'm going to fold them down like so because I'm going to hook them in here and then I want this orange bits to hang. Okay, so one kind of in the center let's see let's make some room here she probably should have made room before I put glue on the stick okay let's tuck you in there hook you in there not too far in because we want this to kind of hang loosely all right see that orangey bit hanging off of there okay I'm just gonna hang another one over here another one on this side Cut off that stem. All right. I'll turn it around so I can look at it here. Kind of want them close together. They don't have to be so far apart. Okay. Hang there. I think I pushed that one a little bit too far in. Yeah. Let me un let me just unbend it a little bit. That'll help it come over the the leaves like that and then one right the that one didn't really end up in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the middle oops I wanted to remove the leaves let's see there we go that's enough okay so now I've got these pretty little orange bits just hanging off the bottom I think that looks good enough yes I could put some more over here and some more over here but I think that looks good now I'm gonna put my little bird in there and I want him like he's making a little nest in there like he found himself you know a little spot in this little you know uh, cluster of fruit so that when the little egg eggs that he's going to or she's going to lay in there uh, are hatched they can eat off of this yummy fruit there we go so there's the little bird you see it all right okay everyone this is my fruit wreath I hope you like it and I hope that you will give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. Next week I'm going to be doing a fruit, a little, a little fruit centerpiece that will coordinate with this one. So make sure you look out for that. Friday I will have a recipe video. So I hope you will join me for that as well. And I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you will be getting notifications of when I upload, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. I don't want you to miss a video. Uh, and as always, please share in your social medias uh, so that others can uh, join and watch and enjoy the videos. And that's it. Thank you all very much. I love you. And as always, enjoy.